Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. I am also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. Today, I want to talk a little bit about restructuring your loans if you cannot afford them anymore. Guys, please do remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are, however, looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered with the FSCA. So first things that's first that I need to put out of there is it is important to understand credit education. It is understanding the relationship that an outstanding balance has, an interest rate has, how long you're going to pay for, and what it means when they either recalculate your installment what does it mean from a how long you're going to pay for or how much you're going to pay for these things are very very important i'll tell you why so on a loan for instance i have got a home loan i owe 1.8 million on that home loan right every single month because the interest rate has been hiked so many times it means that i'm paying almost 21,000 rand on that loan but based on my interest rates I'm actually charged an interest rate that equals to 16,000 Rand based on the outstanding balance. So remember, if you are owing 1.8, but your interest rate is 10%, they're going to charge 10% on the 1,000 or on the 1.8 divided by 12 and give you an amount that you need to pay every single month. Of course, other things added in like your service fees and all of those things, right? So if it means that I am actually being charged an interest rate of six of, of or an interest charge rather of 16,000. It means that ultimately on the 21,000 rent, on the 21,000 rent that I pay every month through debit order, only 5,000 rent actually goes to the outstanding balance that I owe, right? So to lower my outstanding balance, I would need to increase the amount of money so that it's either equal to the interest rate that I'm being charged or that it is a more than the interest rate that I'm being charged. So imagine, if I decide now to pay, instead of the 21,000, I pay extra and I pay in total, for instance, 32,000 Rand, right? You would take the 32,000 Rand and you would subtract what? The 16,000, right? So you have to subtract 10, it becomes 22,000, and then you subtract 6, um, and then it becomes, yeah, guys, my math is terrible. If you subtract the 6, it becomes 22 minus 6 is what? Four, not 14. Uh, 22 minus 6 is 16, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes, 22. So basically, it means that I would be paying at least 16,000 towards my actual loan. So it would mean that by the from the 1.8, you would easily minus 16,000 rand. Do you get it? So that's essentially what you need to do to be able to pay off your loans faster and quicker is to decrease the outstanding balance so that it makes sense that when they calculate the interest rate against your outstanding balance every single month you actually are equally going lower and lower and lower now the problem that happens is that people do this thing where they make arrangements to pay a less amount of money so let's say, for instance, you owe, let's say, again, the same example. Let's say you owe the bank 1.8 million a home loan. And you make an arrangement because you can't pay the 21,000 every single month or even anything more than that. And you make an arrangement to only pay 10,000 rand every single month. The bank will take it because the bank doesn't essentially want you not to pay anything. So the bank or the legal team of the bank was usually at this point, you're probably going to get handed over to the legal team. The legal team might accept the 10,000 Rand that you are paying. But I want you to understand again how the numbers work because then you are working backwards. You owe 1.8 million. They still calculate the same interest rate. This, because you have not restructured anything. You've simply just asked for a favor and that favor is to pay less. So they don't restructure your loan. So you still charge the same interest rate that is existing on that credit agreement. So let's say it's the interest rate that I'm being charged. So again, your interest rate charge is actually still 16,000 Rand. You are supposed to pay 21,000 every month, but you can't afford it. So you've arranged to pay 10,000, but the interest rate that you're charged is 16,000. So you're not even covering the interest charge every single month. So which means that nothing of your money is actually going towards the principal amount you owe. 
which is the 1.8 million. That is the outstanding balance. So now compound interest is working against you. Why? Because every month from the 1.8 you owe, there's an extra 6,000 rand that just keeps getting added on. It just keeps getting added on. It just keeps getting added on. Eventually you wake up and the interest that you actually are paying is going to even be more than the 16,000 because the outstanding balance did not go in the opposite direction and low. It actually went higher because again, they take that interest portion that you are not paying and they add it on. Now, at least there's a law in South Africa. It's called the du duplum, duplum, duplum. Cannot pronounce it. D-U-P-L-U-M. And it basically says you cannot be charged interest equivalent or even more than what the actual original loan was. So eventually they'll get to a point where the banks are just like, okay, this is not working out anymore for us because at some point they're going to hit a ceiling. And let me tell you, by that time, you're going to be in a worse off situation. And this is why sometimes debt review can be a good thing because with debt review, essentially that loan gets stopped, stops being an active loan. It now becomes a loan that you are actually just owing. So the balance of the day in which you go into, because remember, they can't give you any more credit. So they can't charge you additional interest on that specific loan because when you go into debt review, there's a court order that says you can no longer access any more credit facilities ever, right? Or not ever, for as long as you are in debt review. So they can't add on these unnecessary interest rates and all of that because also you've restructured the loan. So here you didn't ask just for a favor, but you've restructured the loan and you've put it under debt review. So it's very important to understand this thing. That's why I say the credit education is the important part. It will either help you in paying off your debts very quickly. It will help you the day you are actually feeling like you are, you're drowning. Because if you understand these things, it is better that way. And guys, please, there is still an opportunity for you to be able to restructure. So let's say, for instance, maybe you took a payment holiday and the interest rate kept being um, um, charged. Ask for that interest rate to get added onto the outstanding balance so that you can get a new recalculation done in totality. Don't allow yourself to sit with things like arrears or interest that you owe. Just ask them to add it all into the balance and rather give you a restructured loan and they must calculate the repayment so that you are still paying a little bit more than what the interest rate is. Because if you're paying less than the interest rate or the interest charge rather, right, that the interest rate calculates, you are going to have what is called a lifetime loan. You are going to move backwards because compound interest, and this is why they say compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Those who understand it will earn from it and benefit from it. But those who do not understand it will pay it. It's important to understand that saying because it is absolutely crucial when it comes to your debt. You cannot pay, no matter the payment arrangement, if it's not through a court order, not through a restructuring, you cannot pay less than what the interest charge amount is every single month or else you are moving backwards. Please, I beg you, don't do that. Don't do it. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for today and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah, 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 mwah.